Hello and welcome to yet another video. Thank you all for being here. So today is a spend a day with me. Like I start my day at 4 a.m. in the morning. I normally wake up to prepare for the kids to go to school. So I get straight from my bed to the kitchen. I don't go anywhere unless I want to go to the bathroom. But today I just went straight to the kitchen. So yesterday night I was so tired. I couldn't do anything. I decided to just leave most of the utensils there. I cleared a few of the utensils, but I left some of the utensils. And the dishes that I had washed, I want to remove them, put them in their various places. But before that, I normally take water before anything. Like whatever that goes into my stomach in the morning is always water. Like I'm standing there and I'm feeling like, who is going to do all this? Like I'm so confused. In the morning, my mind never functions. I have to take water so that I can start functioning. So I'll start by arranging the dishes to clear the surface uh, that place before I can start uh, making even breakfast. There are a lot of reasons that make me wake up in the morning. One of it is to uh, prepare fresh food for the kids to carry to school. Some of my kids do carry food to school, that is lunch, and also prepare breakfast. I do make snacks at night, but there are days I don't make, uh, I don't get to make the snacks or even prepare anything. So I have to wake up early and do that. So on this day, everything was all over like even the dishes i did they were just all over but i also have to take water in the morning so that uh, my mind can function you cannot function that early it's too early to even start functioning like the the way i always stand there looking at the kitchen first before i can even start even at this point when i was even drinking water i had not even woken up myself so i have to take like three to uh, two to three glasses of warm water as i keep doing uh things here and there uh, I want to make tea. I want to start making tea. I had made some dough last night for chapati. So I'll be making the chapatis because the dough is already, it's ready. I always make the dough at night if I want to make in the morning. And also this lessens up uh, the burden of wanting to knead the dough that early. So I'll be making some tea. The, I have uh, some other tea over there, but it's not enough. So I'll make extra and also mix the other tea with this one. And then I'll go back. I'll go into making chapati. Hey.
I love a quiet and calm environment when I want to make chapatis. Like no one is disturbing me. There is no noise. Nobody is budging in the kitchen to ask for this and that. So that is the best time for me to make chapatis. So I've rolled out the dough. I want to dry them first before I can use the oil in now making the chapatis. I find this method so easier for me because it's really fast and I zap things and you don't have to struggle uh, between uh, rolling out and also making them on your pan. So I'll be drying them first before I can make with oil. I really enjoy cooking in the morning when nobody uh, is there to disturb me. So uh, let's now use the oil in making the chapati. I've dried them uh, first, then I'll be making them. These chapatis are enough for them to carry to school. And also I'll be having some that will remain maybe to be used during lunchtime or maybe as a snack in the evening. And this uh, makes them so full because this is the same thing they took during breakfast. I also made some beans. I had soaked some beans and then cooked them and then I... They did eat the beans with the chapatis in the morning before they left. So this is how I normally start my day. But I don't start my day with making chapatis. I don't make chapatis every day. Like there are days I could even wake up and make gideri. Trust me. I could soak beans in the evening and then make gideri in the morning. Gideri, for those who don't know what gideri is, gideri is a mixture of corn and beans. And then you cook them together. So uh, there are days I would do that. There are days I would make porridge and uh, sweet potatoes and even yams, depending on what I want to make. I'm done cooking the beans. I did use a pressure cooker because it's faster. So I'm going to fry them. I'm using the white onions in my oil. I'm adding them. Then I let them brown just a little bit. I want them to have a touch of golden brown just a little bit. I love white onions. They smell so good when it comes to uh, legumes. So I'll be adding also blended tomatoes. I'm using raw tomatoes. My blender, my fridge decided just to go like that i don't know what happened it doesn't get cold anymore but it's uh it's giving all the sounds that the fridge can give but it doesn't get cold so i don't use the steamed tomatoes anymore i just now i'm using the raw ones and then i'm going to cook these uh sprinkle some salt i'm not adding any spices because the kids are carrying this to school and they get to share with other children you may never know how spices get to react on other kids so i decided to keep the all the spices of uh, these uh, beans i'm just making them as natural as possible so they are done cooking i'm garnishing with uh, some coriander and that will be it for that breakfast come lunch come everything so once I'm done, I'm going to shift into doing something else. And we call this a morning, like that morning and then there. The kids went to school, I went back to sleep. And then I woke up later at 9 a.m. And I decided to make my bed. I just want to make the bed, uh, uh, freshen up this room, clean the toilet. That is what I do most days, uh, like uh, tidy up the room.
Remember the curtain that I had thrifted earlier to use on the kids' room? I had long replaced that curtain with the curtains that I was using in the living room before buying the new ones. So I used that curtain to make throw pillowcases and they look so beautiful, I'm telling you. On my mirror, I'm using the uh, Pixie window and glass cleaner and on the surfaces, I'm using the Maxell oxygen cleaner. I'm still using the same thing on the windows. I normally don't do this every day, but this day I felt like let me just wipe uh, the windows uh, just a little bit on the uh, on the inside. But from the outside, I just ignored from the outside. I just wiped uh, the inside part because that is the part that uh, got a lot of dust. And you don't want to be with living with the dust in your bedroom. And then I normally just uh, draw both the sheer and the curtains just to get a lot of sunlight and the room to be aired nicely. So uh, this part of the door, I'm also wiping it. And on my in my bathroom, uh, what I do daily is wash the toilet using the sufficient toilet cleaner. I just uh, wash it. I don't do a deep cleaning in my toilet. I don't use this toilet for showering. I use the other one so it's always dry and uh, I am going to spray on the Maxell bathroom cleaner on this uh, bowl over here and then wipe it and also do the same with the walls. I don't wipe the walls like every day, but on this day, because we had a lot of watermarks, I had to wipe it and even wipe the door, wash the sink, and that is it for this room. I don't wipe this place so much. I normally wipe it once in a while. And this day I decided let me just wipe it. I get to uh, throw away the containers that are already empty. The uh, product containers also get to put tissues there instead of putting the tissues up on the cabinets of the bedroom. And also replace uh, the place where we put tissue, put a new another tissue because the tissue was finished. I get to wipe like everywhere like that bathroom has to be fresh because it is a bathroom come toilet but I use it as, I use it as a toilet I don't shower here I get to use another shower don't mind my hair on this very day I was going to the salon I had undone my hair last night so uh, this is the day I had planned to go to the salon I'm using sufficient jig and some warm water to mop the floors. That is what I do every day on these floors. It's not like I'm doing it today only, but I do that uh, for the floors just to disinfect them and keep them fresh and clean, as clean as possible. Yeah, you just have to wash your bathroom like every day, even if you don't get to go in there uh, more often but as much as you get to use it just uh, mop it and i have different mopper for the uh, toilets and also a different mopper for the house so uh there's a subscriber who once asked me if i'm using the same mops no i don't i'm using different mops to uh for different purposes so i'm going to finish up from the bathroom and then i'll be cleaning uh, the bedroom as for the bedroom, I'm also just mopping the floors of the bedroom and I'm using also warm water and dishwashing detergent. That is what I use on all the floors in the house.
I did the same thing with the kids' bathroom and also with the bedroom. And then in my living room, during the day, I don't do much. If I'm not deep cleaning, I don't do much. I just uh, tidy up, remove everything that is there. These are clothes that I had hung and hung last night. Put them on that seat. I wanted to fold them, but I wasn't so energetic, so I left them. So I'll be folding them this morning, but not on camera. And don't judge. Our kids get to throw like everything everywhere. Like I've found a jacket behind the seat. That is what I do. I go around in my living room, make sure it's tidy by removing like everything. Then get to vacuum uh, my carpet. I don't mop every day. I do mop three times a week. That is when it's Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. The rest of the days, I just sweep the floors. So I'm going to tidy up the seat, remove everything, uh, wipe uh, the surfaces. That is, I'm starting with this coffee table. I'm using the Maxell Multipurpose Cleaner as always to wipe uh, the top of the table and also the stand as well. And then I'll be vacuuming the carpet. I love vacuuming this carpet just to keep away the dust and also the food particles. And then to maintain its freshness, I just use the Magnic Upholstery and Carpet Cleaner. I mix a little bit of it with some water, put it in a spray uh, bottle and then spray it on the carpet. Use this uh, brush over here just to spread it evenly. And then the carpet will just be smelling nice and the house will also be smelling nice and fresh. So those are the ways that I keep my day and also keep my house as neat as possible. As we go with the day, you don't have to stop cleaning because maybe you are alone in the house. Maybe the kids have gone uh, to school. You're just alone in the house and you feel like, no, I'll just leave the house to be like that. No, you just have to do it. And then uh, later on, I went to the market. I just needed to grab some fruits bananas and some potatoes so i got some plantain i got normal bananas i got sweet bananas i opted for uh, my spinach to be cut because i just wanted to go to, back to the house and just fix a meal real quick instead of starting to cut the spinach again i was tired from the long day so this lady did cut the spinach for me and she did not use this water she used very clean water actually to clean my spinach and this is what i got i got uh, three packs of uh, fresh uh peas and also some fruits some that is apple sweet oranges some mango uh, coconut and uh, some sweet bananas i love sweet bananas these are the spinach some butternut for breakfast some plantain yeah they look dark but they are good and these are just normal bananas i love these bananas they get to make a very good uh, banana cake I also got some potatoes and that is it. It was it was not a grocery haul, but I just went out and this is what I got for um, this day. Uh, so I want to make some puff puff. I've made this recipe severally here before. Uh, this is the orange puff puff. So I'm mixing some yeast in some lukewarm uh, milk. I'm using 
one and a half cup of milk i'm adding some yeast in it that is one uh, two spoonful of uh, yeast dry yeast then i'm adding some sugar people say instant uh, yeast get to just function uh, quickly but i just like putting it in milk or water and leave it for like five minutes and then once it proves it shows that it, it's actually alive so i'm going to put it in milk let it settle for five minutes as i'm going to grate these oranges i love the orange puff puff they have just a good aroma with this mixture instead of uh, adding water into that milk i opted to add some uh orange juice so i'm going to regret the zest itself the zest just gives a good aroma on the puff puff and then i'll be mixing it with the mixture of uh, the puff puff as i make it So I'm going to start making the puff puff and in goes the milk in the bowl and then I'm going to add in the juice. I love using milk and uh, and eggs in making my puff puff. I find them uh, very making the puff puff a bit soft and also I'm going to crack in some two eggs. Mix them well until they're well combined. I'm going to in this recipe I'm going to use all purpose flour. All purpose flour is what is required to make this recipe. Don't go using self rising with the yeast if you want to use self rising just use self rising on its own but i find yeast working so well so i'm going to add in all purpose flour mix well until i get the consistency that can fall off the spoon without uh, any struggle like um, if you use a very thick paste the the puff puffs are not going to come out uh, nice so i'm going to add in the orange zest and orange zest is everything in this recipe it makes the the the, the puff puff get a good aroma so i've added some vanilla mixed with the strawberry essence just to get that fruity taste on those puff puff and then i'm going to mix well let it sit cover it let it sit until it doubles in size so before that i'm going to make some ugali because it's dinner time actually when i'm doing all this it was around 8 pm so i'm going to make ugali i've already made the spinach and then we are going to make the stew At this point i want to make this stew and i'm going to use the white onions i'm going to add them into already heated oil mix well i'm not going to let them be translucent or maybe get a darker color i'm just using them the way they are I just wanted them to absorb the oil first then i'm going to mix well bring in the blended tomato that is the raw blended tomatoes mix uh, well and then i'm going to cover them so that they can get rid of the raw taste of the tomatoes i'm going to let them simmer for like five minutes i'm actually making goat meat and i love goat meat it's been a while since i had goat meat so with this dish i'm not feeling any spices i just want to have them as natural as it is just the tomatoes and the onions and the salt and that is it so after that i had already boiled my goat meat i used the pressure cooker because i just wanted it as tender as possible then i'm going to mix it well Cover it, let the meat absorb all the flavors from the tomatoes and the onions and the salt and everything that is in there, which nothing is in there except the tomatoes and the onions. So I'm going to cover it, let it get all the flavors. I'm just going to lower the heat for like five minutes. And then after that, I'll be adding in the broth. So let me just cover it, let it uh, get all the flavors and cover it. Mix well, as you can see, until the 
uh, side of the pot has just turned color i'm going to mix it well and then i'm going to bring in now the broth that we did use to boil the goat meat Mix well. I have a mixture here of cornstarch and some water, just a little bit of cornstarch. If you go extreme with cornstarch, it's going to get rid of the flavors of the natural flavors of the goat meat. So just use a little bit of the cornstarch. I use like a quarter teaspoon of uh, cornstarch and a uh, half, uh, not a half, a quarter cup of water. So I mixed them and then added them into my meat just to thicken the sauce of the the goat meat and then after that i did garnish it with some uh green peppers yeah green peppers really go well with any stews and this came out so delicious so i served that with some spinach and also some ugali i'm telling you this uh dish over here had no spices and it was so so delicious so after that I will start making the puff puff because I really want to make the puff puff and uh, finish up this day and call it a day. So uh, everything has proved and this dough over here has doubled in size. I'm going to mix it well to punch out the air and then I'm going to start uh, by making my puff puff. I dip my hand inside water and also dip the spoon that I'm going to use to make the puff puff. Also, that is how I'm going to scoop and then put it in the oil. I'll keep turning from side to side just to make sure that the puff puff gets cooked evenly. If you don't do that, your puff puff will end up not cooking up to the inside and you'll end up having a, an undercooked uh, puff puff. So I'll keep turning them from side to side until I'm done with the first batch. You can never go wrong with the puff puff recipes like you would do this every day when you master this art of turning them from side to side just to avoid burning and also to let them cook up to the inside. Just see how they look like. They are very soft. They are cooked evenly. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for spending this entire day with me. I hope you got to enjoy this video. Until next time, bye guys.